Hello, I'm Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. So today's pick a card is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be really juicy and quite spicy. It's going to be called, What Are Their Naughty Confessions For You? So I hope you enjoy. And if you're new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. And um, also press that like button if you like this and leave me a comment. I will always, always reply to your comments because it gives me great feedback. I appreciate it. It lets me know you like my videos and um, also it helps the YouTube algorithm. So definitely be sure to like this video if you like it. Thank you so much. Let's get started on today's pick a card reading. Dare Naughty Confessions for you. Hello and welcome to your pile selection. There are two ways that you can choose your pile. You can go to the timestamp with the images and choose from the images, or you can choose from gemstones. So if you'd like to choose from gemstones, you're in the right place. So if you're drawn to snowflake obsidian, you're going to choose pile number one. If you're drawn to this diamond, glass diamond, you're going to choose pile number two. If you're drawn to this tiger's eye, you're going to choose pile number three. All right. I just wanted to make a quick announcement that I have started a Patreon. So this Patreon is going to be for um, uncensored 18 plus videos. So if you're interested in uncensored 18 plus videos, um, my price on my Patreon is very, very affordable. It's just $3 a month and you get all access to four videos each month. Um, once one a week, one, one video will be posted each week and they will be totally uncensored 18 plus readings. Um, the reason that I'm doing this is because um, YouTube has very high standards for their videos and they're very, um, they can be very picky about what you can say in your 18 plus readings. And um, so this is why I'm starting a Patreon. That way I'm going to be able to say whatever I want to say and you all can enjoy. So I wanted to put that out there for you. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with today's pick a card. Their naughty confessions for you. Hello, pile number one, my beautiful, lovely souls. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. So today's pick a card is going to be their naughty 18 plus confessions for you. What is on their mind? What do they want to do to you? So I'm just cleansing the space and I'm going to say a prayer to spirit. Spirit, please be here now. Help me to deliver the messages to pile number one, all about the person on their mind, their naughty confessions for them. Before I begin, I would like to make a quick announcement. I have started a Patreon. Um, and you can find all of the information in my description box below. There's a link for my Patreon. You can join my Patreon um, for $3 a month. So it's very, very affordable. And you can have access to um, 18 plus uncensored um, videos. Okay. And the reason I'm doing this is because um, YouTube has really cracked down on what you can say and what you can't say in your 18 plus videos. Um, you may have noticed other YouTubers saying the same thing. So I decided that I wanted to be free with um, my speech and what I'm able to say. So I've opened a Patreon for all of you to be able to head on over there and enjoy uncensored 18 plus readings. Okay, so I wanted to put that out there. Check out my description box for more information. So today's pick a card is all about their secret or their secret thoughts, their naughty confessions for you. Um, I'm going to be using the Astro Dice, some channeled messages, um, channel message cards, 
and I'm going to be digging deep into this. So I'm just going to cleanse the cards. All right, so I will um, roll the astro dice just to see what possible sign this could be of this person who is having these naughty thoughts about you. All right, and if this doesn't um, resonate with you, this portion, you can go to a different pile and choose a different pile if that one resonates better with you. All right, so this could be the person's sun, moon, or ascendant sign. We've got Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Leo. Okay, so this is possible sun, moon, or ascendant of the, the person who is having naughty thoughts about you. So what exactly are the thoughts that this person is having? spirit what are their naughty confessions for pile number one all right i always shuffle until i get like this tingly sensation and then i know it's time to stop so like right there i just felt it so i know it's time to stop okay first of all this person loves 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 the way you look you have almost like this exotic look to you it doesn't matter where you're from you have this like dark beauty about you. Like this appearance is like a dark beauty, okay? It doesn't matter if your hair is blonde or your hair is dark. You have this aura about you that is very intense and it's very magnetic and it draws in a lot of people. And um, there's definitely somebody who is having some naughty thoughts about you. And um, I'm also hearing this person could have an exotic look about them as well, because Spirit just let me know that. So this person could have, um, could either be from a different country or um, be of a different nationality. For some of you, that's not going to resonate for everybody, but for some of you, it will. But anyways, this person is loving your looks. They love your appearance. They honestly want to, like, come into your life they want to woo you, romance you, sweep you off of your feet. They love your body. They love, love, love your body. They love everything even right down to your toes, okay? They think you're a work of art or a work of perfection. Um, this person could very well be a water sign or that could be you because we've got the Knave of Water here, which is Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Um, so somebody here is very, very intuitive and I have a feeling that could be you. If that is you, this person thinks that you are very mysterious. Um, you know, you draw them into you because they're like, how does this person have this aura about them? Like your aura, it's different than other people's. Um, it's like a sensuous knowing okay you know who you are you know your worth and you know a lot of secrets about life and it's like people can just tell this by looking at you all right and then we got the night of air so i really do feel like this person can play a little bit you know hot and cold they kind of can come off as like oh i'm interested one day and oh i'm not interested the next day like they can play hot and cold but don't let them fool you. They are having um, a lot of naughty thoughts about you. And a lot of this has to do with like you and wearing something very specific for them because they might have like a, some kind of a uh, an idea of what they want you to wear. I'm trying to be careful with my words. <laughs> um, if you want the uncensored, go to my Patreon. Um, information is in my description box for that but anyway um they have an image of you wearing something like nothing but a pair of boots okay or nothing but a pair of high heels this person and they love it when you wear crop tops if you're a female they absolutely love it it drives them crazy makes them have crazy thoughts about you yeah and i feel like you know, this person maybe has like a moral dilemma with this attraction. Like maybe they're thinking, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be thinking about this. I shouldn't be thinking these thoughts about this person. But they kind of feel like a sinner in, a, in some way. We got the nun here. We got a naughty nun here who's like having impure thoughts 
Um, so this person might be like ashamed of their thoughts that they're thinking about you. We got the earth here. This could be a coworker of you, yours, but this person is definitely watching you. They love the curvature of your body, especially if you're a female. They are imagining you in stockings, um, wearing just, just a white t-shirt or just something really attractive okay like they their their imaginations are running wild that's what i'm hearing the emperor this could be an older person they could be older than you but they are very attractive for their age like i am not going to lie like they are extremely attractive for their age um yeah and if they're older than you um yeah, they they could be they could be married, doesn't have to be, but they're kind of feeling like, oh, this is wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they might be feeling like it's a little like they're too old or something for you. So that could be for some of you. But if this person, you know, if that doesn't resonate with you, it could be that this is like your boss in your workplace cuz the emperor can signify a boss too in the workplace. So that could be very well be your boss. All right, this person is thinking like, wow, if they could have you on their arm, you would be like complete arm candy to them. Um, they would love to walk with you by their side. They would be proud to have you on their arm, walking side by side with them, like arm candy or a trophy is what I'm hearing. They love your eyes. They think that you're very mysterious. Um, you could have a very interesting look about you. I feel like this card, she's kind of peeking around the corner. I feel like this person is kind of keeping an eye on you, okay? Like, they're watching with you when you don't know they're watching you. When you don't think they're watching you, they're watching you. Interesting. They're wanting to do something stupid with you or do something foolish with you. They're wanting to, do, to just surprise you, um... In this card, I'm seeing, like, she's definitely got clothing strewn, strewn all over the place. And they're outside in a, in a park. And his face, he's like, what? <laughs> I don't know. Look at his face. It cracks me up. His mouth is open. Like, he looks so surprised. This person wants you to, like, kind of take advantage of them in a public place. And they are having fantasies about that. And they want to shock people. <laughs> I love it. They want to shock people. This person wants to take you by surprise. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you remember how I said this person's older than you? Look at this. Look at that. Look, at the, there's like an old man back here with white hair. And then you got this beautiful female here. Oh my gosh. This person is. They're older than you. And they're like, oh, this, you're like so young. You're so young and beautiful. And they're like, oh, this is so wrong. But like, they kind of don't care. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Let me see what else. Now I got channeled message cards. What else, spirit? What are their naughty confessions? What are their naughty confessions? You have beautiful hands or nails and they think that, like, especially if you're female, they think your nails are really bougie and they think you, you take good care of yourself and they're like, dang, it really gets them excited. They want to pin you down. They also think you can have anything you want, anything you put your mind to. And they would give you the world. If they could, they would give you the world. You can literally talk to anyone. They, they admire you for this. They admire that you can literally talk to anyone. You have a very symmetrical face and you're super attractive and they think that you're really, really um, attractive. What else, Spirit? I got all these channeled message cards here. Whoa. Whoa, I've got so many here. You speak your mind and they find that to be very attractive. You don't let things keep you down. You have a good attitude and you've got banging curves for sure. 
you're the life of the party. So it's like, you know, if this is a coworker or a boss, this person is having like a humdrum day without you there. If there's days when you don't go into the office, this person's having a humdrum boring day and they're like, ugh, when is pile one going to show up here? Because you make them, you make their life fantastical. That's what I heard. I don't even know if that's a word, but that's what I heard. <laughs> You make an excellent leader, so this person might want to promote you or give you a raise, especially if this is a boss of yours. They they see you're helping other people too. You have a lot of gifts. Whoever this is, they think you're you're just wonderful. I'm hearing you're the cat's meow. You're very seductive without even trying, and you've literally bewitched this person. This person is like they feel like they're under a spell. They feel like they're under your spell, you know, that you, ever since they met you, they've been under your spell and they might wonder like, gosh, what did they do to me? <laughs> I think this is cute. They can't wrap their head around it. You really pull people in and you have pulled this person in, this person that's on your mind that you're thinking about um this person is thinking about you night and day they love your voice they think you have a really nice voice and you're very unpredictable like with your actions you know you're very very unpredictable they never know what's coming with you like they never know what's gonna come out of your mouth what you're gonna say next like you're entertaining as heck like they think you're so entertaining that's what i'm hearing from spirit you stand out. You're not just like everybody else. That's why they're magnetized to you. And a lot of people find you to be very, very attractive. That is why um, they like you. They also, like I said, like they think you might, must be a powerful manifester or something. Like They feel like you always get what you want. They love that you're very knowledgeable too. Not only are you attractive, but you're very, very knowledgeable. All right, now I'm gonna go into the channeled portion where I'm going to um, ask Spirit to um, help me out and deliver some messages just for you about this person and whatever Spirit wants to bring through about this person. So if there's pauses, that's why I am channeling Spirit. So Spirit, what can you tell me and us here, pile number one, about, um, the person that is thinking about them, they're naughty confessions. All right, who is this person? What are they thinking? What do they want to do? Okay, I am hearing murmur. So I this tells me that like they think people are talking about this. There's some there's some people if this is like in a if this is in a coworker kind of situation, they're kind of thinking that people are talking about this, you know? And so they're like trying to be on the down low. They're trying like to not be obvious, okay? But they really like you. All right, thank you, Spirit. What else, Spirit, can you tell us about this situation? All right, for some of you, like, you really like this person, but you don't know if this person's very serious about you, you know? Um, because I'm hearing like, I don't know. I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it here. If we were on my Patreon, I would definitely say it. But um, what I can basically tell you is I can tell you this in a different way. You might think that they are a player or they aren't serious anyway, or that they just want you for you know what. But um, honestly, like they are infatuated with you. Like, they are seriously infatuated. They, they're not getting much sleep. They're like, you know, when they're alone, they're thinking about you. Okay. And that's all I can say about that. Um, leave the rest to your imagination. <laughs> okay, what else, Spirit? I just heard company or big corporation. You could work for a company or a big corporation, and this could literally be your boss. So that's a confirmation for some of you, not for everybody. But I, I do feel like this person could be older than you for sure. There's definitely like an age difference and even like a different mindset. And it's kind of funny too, because yesterday's reading that I did, um, 
was about an older person too had come through for that for that one for one of the piles so interesting interesting that this is coming through again all right um anything else spirit this person could have like gray hair or like salt and pepper they could be a lot older than you for some of you not for everybody because i'm like seeing somebody with like salt and pepper or grayish hair that really likes you um but for others of you you could be pretty young and this is somebody in their like their 40s or something 30s or 40s like late 30s 40s um so yeah there's definitely somebody that's older than you that is having a crush on you and it, it could very well be your boss at your or, or co-worker at your workplace all right anything else spirit I just heard juicy. They're having a lot of juicy thoughts about you. You'd be embarrassed if you knew everything they were thinking about you. That's what I just heard. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. For some of you, maybe you were like, oh, I didn't want to know that. But yeah, that is what spirit is bringing through. I hope you enjoyed this reading. And if you'd like, if you like this reading, but you want uncensored readings, definitely check out my uh, Patreon in my description box below and you can join for three dollars a month and you can have um, access to four videos a month i'll be doing at least to start out one video a week to see how that goes they will be um uncensored so i can say i'll have the liberty to say whatever i want but anyways if you um if you are new to my channel here on youtube please subscribe to my channel i would love to have you be a subscriber and um Please like this video too. That helps the algorithm and it helps this video to get out. It also helps me to know you like this video and you want more of it, more videos like this. Um, what else? Oh, if you need a free, or not free, not a free. Okay, there is a free reading I'm giving away on Monday, February 6th. I will be giving away a free reading. If you're interested in um, entering that drawing, you can go to my... Um, community page community tab and find the tab with the butterfly or not the butterfly the one with the there's like a tab with a woman with um a candle anyways if you find that you can actually put your name or put your your comment in there and say mystic rose i'd like a like to be entered for a free reading and all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment and you will be entered in the drawing for a free reading from me but if you'd like to purchase a reading from me you can go to the description box below and you can find all the information necessary for how to purchase um, a personal reading with me and if you'd like to donate to my channel it's never expected but it's always appreciated and you can find information for that in my description box below as well i sure had a lot of fun with this uh, 18 plus reading and I hope that you did too pile number one I love you all so much stay beautiful bye hello my beautiful and lovely pile number two so if you chose this um, gemstone this uh, diamond or image two you are in the right place so I'm going to be cleansing the cards. I'm going to be saying a prayer to spirit. I have some channeled messages and there will be a channeled portion at the end. I'm also doing astro dice to see possible um, signs, sun, moon, or ascendant signs for this person. Okay, so I'll start with that. Um, spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver messages to pile number two all about the person on their mind. Who is this person? And... What are their naughty confessions or thoughts they're having about pile number two? All right, this person could be a Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, or Scorpio. Sun, moon, or ascendant. All right. So they could have those signs somewhere in their birth chart. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, we got Scorpio here, P Pisces or Cancer. Um, this person has a lot of vigor. They're very, um, they have like an, a very 
um, like a personality that stands out, okay? Their personality is very intense. The emotions that they feel are very intense. Um, they, they have a lot of emotional depth and they may enjoy wearing um, the color black for some of you. Um, this person is really intense. That's all I can really say about this person. Their energy is very, very intense, <laughs> okay? But they, when they're feeling something, they're feeling it powerfully. And they're feeling a lot of intense emotions for you right now. Lots of desire. Okay. Wow, they see you in such a light. They see you as very earthy. Um, they see you as very fun, exciting, tantalizing. Um, I got to cover that up. Tantalizing. Very, very, um, I got to be careful with what I say. And I want to just put this out there too for you, Pile 2. If you're interested in uncensored 18 plus readings, um, head on over to my Patreon. I just started this Patreon. You can join for $3 a month. You will have access to 18 plus readings from me that are uncensored, all about your favorite topics. And yes, it's only $3 a month and you will get access to four videos a month at least to start with. And they're going to be awesome videos. And so I've already got one um, up there. So go ahead and click in the description box below and go to the link for my Patreon and please become a member. I would love to have you there. Anyways, um, I have to try to be careful with what I'm saying because of YouTube standards. Okay, they're cracking the whip down cracking down on the standards but I still want to have these readings for you all because I enjoy it a lot and I know that you do too all right I'm just gonna say this in a nice way nicest way that I can possible this person is thinking about you in a way that um, they want to surprise you they want to look on you kind of spy on you um, they're thinking about like they have a very intense energy they they, their desire for you is extremely strong, okay? That's, a, that's what I can say. And, like, this person, like, likes to look at you um, when you're not looking, kind of catch you off guard. This person, it may surprise you to know that they like you with such fervor and intensity. But, and when I'm saying, like, intensity, I'm talking about it's out of this world, okay? The connection here that they feel for you it's very visceral okay it's very of the flesh all right um i'm not seeing like a lot of romance cards so i'm not sure if they really have a lot of romantic feelings but they definitely have a lot of um carnal uh, uh feelings towards you and desires um wow <laughs> we've got the eight of air this person is like coming up behind her and totally surprising her. Do you see him here? Like, okay, in each of these cards, there's like something where the person is taking the other person by surprise or like, you know what I mean? Like this guy's like coming up behind her. This guy is like peeking in on her when she's busy. This guy is like coming up to her when she's in the water. <laughs> This person is like, yeah, you may not even actually, okay, this might be like a secret crush. You you know, this person may not want you to know about it, but they, they want to surprise you. Like, yeah. And um, they want to like catch you off guard when, when you find out about this. Like, they totally want to surprise you. They love your looks your looks are amazing they love your lips they think it's your lips are luscious they love your hair you might have hair like this that's like really full or even a little bit curly or wavy um not everybody will but i'm just saying if you do this resonates with you then take it because this is a general reading so take what you like and leave the rest right um like, if you want a more personal reading, you can always look in my description box for a personal reading. But, yeah, since this is a general reading, just take what you like and leave the rest. Oh, my goodness. This person is thinking about you in such a big way. Like, they think you stand out above all the other people they've ever known. They think of you as, like, 
Okay, and this, there's like a giant, and she's standing over a city, okay? She's standing over a city, and she's, she's like, in the spotlight. This, oh my goodness, I just thought of something. If you're, if you're, um, and this is not going to be resonating for everybody, but if you're like, um, like a fellow YouTuber, or if you are somebody in the spotlight, or a public speaker, or of any kind, this could be somebody watching you doing that or watching your videos, okay? Or like watching you on um, TikTok or whatever. And this person is like really, really has deep feelings for you. Like they, it's like a secret crush though. They don't want you to know. This person really doesn't want you to know. <laughs> um, should you be scared or anything like that? No, it's not like anything that intense, but they've got you on a huge pedestal. Um, they're just like thinking about you a lot, but it's not like they're going to, you know, it's not like they're dangerous or anything like that. It's quite innocuous. It's just like very intense and they're watching you. So yeah, you may know who this is. You may know who this is for some of you and for others, you might be like, I have no clue who this is. That's because um, for some of you, this person is just watching you on your social media. But for others, you actually know this person and you could have like a lot of people that you both know, like mutual friends and stuff with this card here. You see all the shadows, but there's a lot of eyes on you. So I really do feel like for some of you, you really could be in the public eye. There's like a lot of people watching you. The way that you walk. It's very, very sensual. It's um, seductive. The way that you walk, you're confident. This person and other people too know this about you. Um, Queen of Fire. You could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, but even if you're not, you're very, very like passionate in whatever you do. Um, yeah. We got a girl here sleeping and she's just chill. She's just chill. Um, yeah. So, but this says Queen of Fire, so that stands for somebody who's a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. So that could be you, or you could be a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, but you're like free. You're free with your body. You know who you are, and you're really confident, and like you wear what you want to wear, and you're happy with it you know you're happy to be who you are and that really stands out and that's one of the reasons why you stand out as standing out above the rest all right so what else spirit um what are the naughty confessions for pile two yeah sexy walk and stance you see people for who they are like you can see through people's bs okay and this is one thing that's very alluring about you is your personality. And there is somebody who is, who likes you because you, you are very um, outgoing and like, you know, you're not afraid to be who you want to be. You have a striking beauty, very striking beauty, okay? You're also very classy intelligent classy all right um like if you're female you might like to um carry a nice nice handbag um your accessories make you look very classy or wear it very wealthy you give off very um attractive vibes okay you attract a lot of people you're a mirror for people. Sometimes, like, you're really deep, okay? Sometimes you're really deep as a person, and you reflect to other people um, what they need to see. So this person is definitely noticing that about you, that you're more than just a body. You're actually really, really super intelligent, and you connect with other people really well. And they definitely notice this about you and admire this. They love your jokes or they love it. They love your laugh. This person loves your laugh and they love your, they love it. Like when you, when you're funny. Okay. They like that you're a little bit aloof. The fact that you may or may not know who this is, it kind of, um, I think this person thinks they're getting away with you not knowing <laughs> that they like you and it kind of like gets them excited that it's a secret, you know? 
They like you because you're not worried about what others think. And um, you drive people wild. All kinds of people. All genders. People like your piercings. You could have cute piercings. You could even have like a tongue ring or an eyebrow. Something different than just ears, okay? But it's a cute piercing. Or you could have multiple piercings. You're very open and people like that about you. And you're authentic. You're not trying to be anybody else. You're just you. You're just trying to be you. All right, what else? What are the um, naughty confessions? They think you're exciting. They get excited by you. Okay? Like, you know, physically. You're playful. They think you're really playful. They think you're physically attractive. And they see you helping the world, too. They think that you're making a difference. They just admire you. Your, vo your vibes and your aura are very alluring. You pull people towards you. You attract people. Fame. Yeah, for some of you, you're destined for fame. Um, you could be in the spotlight, like I said. So that's very interesting. You're blessed because you've got beauty and brains. And this person, they know it. For some of you, this is just um, somebody who's admiring you and they may never come forward and tell you. But for others of you, you know exactly who this is. It's somebody you know. All right. This is so interesting. All right, now I'm going to do like a channeled message por portion of this where I'm going to talk to spirit. So if you hear some pauses, it's because I'm talking to spirit and I'm channeling. So I'm going to allow spirit to bring through whatever spirit wants to about this person and what they're thinking about you, their naughty confessions for you. Any clues, spirit, about who this person is? I am seeing somebody with the dark hair. <laughs> okay, dark hair. I am seeing somebody with dark hair, so keep that in mind. Okay, um, I wasn't going to do names, but Spirit is telling me to list off a few for just this pile, so I will. The first name I'm hearing very strong in my mind is Kevin. Okay, I'm hearing Kevin and um, what other names? Any other names, Spirit? That one wanted to come out, though. I was hearing it strong. Um, I'll give a few female names and a few male names and if, you know, take it if it resonates and if it doesn't, it's not for you. Don't take what's not for you. Um, Adam, Mike, Alex, Joe, Cade. Sam, Sean, okay, and then female names, I'm getting like, Aisha, this could be your name too, this, this could be your name or, and let that be confirmation, but this is just what Spirit wanted to bring through, so I was like, okay, <laughs> I, do, I always listen to Spirit. So this could be your name or the name of the person that likes you. Other female names that I'm hearing. Lily. Daisy. Kai, Kaya, Kai. Angelica, Tony, like a girl named Tony, Bridget, and I'm also hearing the name Fawn or Fauna. Okay, Shauna, Shauna. Okay. So that's, that's that. Now I'll bring through whatever else spirit. Okay, spirit, what else do you want me to know or us to know about pile two and their naughty confessions for pile two? 
I just heard hot to trot. This person thinks you are really hot. <laughs> they love your mannerisms. They think you, you have the cutest mannerisms. They've been watching you for a while now. Um, they just love everything about you down to your laugh, your mannerisms, everything. They think you're really special. Oh, I just heard another name. I've got to share it. Cam or Cameron. Okay, I had to say it because Spirit was telling me, say Cameron or Cam. Okay. Any other messages, Spirit, that you want me to share? Okay, for some of you, this could be like somebody that you dated in the past and you might be like, oh, yep. <laughs> So this person could be kind of still keeping an eye on you, you know, like that's maybe why they don't want you to know. Um, so they could be like a secret, um, have secret feelings for you, like be an ex or something that is like keeping tabs on you. Okay. Cause that's going to be for somebody out there. So let that be confirmation. That's not for everybody. Take what you like, leave the rest. Anything else, spirit? Um, this person, if they're male, they could like to be into like an outdoorsman type, like hunting, fishing, that kind of thing. Very sporty, very, very sporty, like outdoor sports or whatever. Like a real outdoorsman kind of person if it's a male. If it's a female, I just heard she's got it going on. She's very attractive. Okay, um, and for some of you, you could be a female watching this and other, and it's another female that has the hots for you, okay, because this is a general reading, so it's going to be, be very specific and depend, it'll be different for everybody, so let me know in the comments how this is resonating with you. And this might surprise you too, but you could be a male watching this and, a, and another male could have the hots for you. Okay, I'm just saying. And you might not even be into that. You might or might not. I'm just saying. You might or might not. Spirit isn't telling me that, but all I know is on my channel, I'm very open and I do attract a lot of different types of people because I'm very open and, and I don't judge people. So, and Spirit knows that. Well, if you've enjoyed this pile too, I hope that you'll subscribe. Don't forget, join my Patreon if you want um, some uh, uncensored um, videos, 18 plus videos from me. Um, it's only $3 a month to join and you get access to one video a week. Um, they're going to be nice and juicy and everything that I want to say without, you know, kind of being monitored or anything like that it'll be free flowing and um definitely subscribe to my channel if you're new so that you can be part of my youtube family and um i'm still going to continue to do you know these 18 plus videos um at least weekly on my youtube uh channel so no worries there i enjoy these types of readings if you'd like a personal reading um you can check out my description box below for more information if you would like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but always appreciated. And you can look for the information for that in my description box below as well. And if you're interested in entering a drawing for a free reading from me, you can go to my community page and find the tab um, where I put the community tab out for the free reading on February 6th is the drawing for that. So just put your name into the comments section on my community page community tab and make sure you're a subscriber in order to win if you're a returning subscriber coming back to watch this video i just want to take a moment to say thank you so much and i do appreciate you each and every one of you i love you all so much i hope you all enjoyed this reading if you'd like to watch another pile and you feel drawn to another pile you can most certainly watch more than one pile all right. I love you all very much. Stay beautiful, Pile 2. Bye. Hello, my beautiful and lovely Pile Number 3. 
Today's pick a card is going to be called Their Naughty Confessions for You. So we're going to be taking a dive into their secret thoughts about you. Um, I'm going to be using some tarot cards. I'm also going to be using some channeled message cards. At the end, I'm going to be doing a channeled portion where I'm going to talk to spirit. Um, I'm also using the astro dice so we can find out the person's sun, moon, or ascendant. But before we get started, I'd like to make a quick announcement. I've started a Patreon um, for people who would like uncensored 18 plus readings from me. Um, please be sure to check out my description box below on how you can join my Patreon. It is only $3 per month and you get access to, um, at least to start out, four um, 18 plus videos um, a month. So one each week. Um, like I said, at least to start out with, and then I may be adding more as time goes on, but that's what I felt comfortable starting out with. Um, so that's the announcement. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because YouTube sort of cracks down on the, on what you can and can't say on the 18 plus readings. And I want to be able to have like a free flowing conversation with you about whatever comes to my mind. And I don't want to have to censor my words. Okay. So that's why I'm doing that. And also, you can see, like, the cards fully, and I don't have to cover them up on the Patreon. So check that out, especially if you love the 18-plus readings. <laughs> okay. All right, so Spirit, please help me deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to Pile 3 about the person who is having um, thoughts about them, and what are their naughty confessions for them? What is their sun, moon, or ascendant? We've got Taurus, Sagittarius, Virgo, Libra. All right. I think we had those signs in another um, one of the piles, too. So you might want to check out one of the other piles. Now, this could be, like, you know, in their sun, moon, or ascendant. So you'd have to probably know their birth chart to know all of their signs. But, yeah, basically, let's see. what else. That was just, like, for fun. Um, they don't have to be of that sign, but or any of those signs but all right let's dig a little deeper to see who this is and what are they thinking they're naughty confessions for you the sun all right the sun is all about like you know it could be significant for Leos. Leos um, are uh, signified by the sun. So this could be a Leo or you could be a Leo. Um, but I am getting the feeling that this person is not very shy. They're kind of outgoing. They have a really warm personality. Yeah, um, I'm getting fire here. Fire sign. Um, they could be... I got to cover that up here. Um, they could be a Leo Sagittarius or Aries person. So this person is like somebody who on the surface level, um, they may kind of try to hide their feelings for you um, in a way. Uh, they also try to hide the fact that secretly they're always thinking about like the questions in life, big questions in life. You know, um, they're a deep thinker, but on the surface, they may present themselves as just surface level but actually they're very deep as a person. Um, this person thinks of you as a work of art. They think of you as somebody a little bit almost too perfect for them is what I'm picking up. It's like they think of you as almost like on a pedestal, like above them. I'm hearing a song. Spirit is giving me a song. Um, you're so high above me. You're so lovely. Um, if I sing it, please don't judge my singing abilities. Um, it goes, she's so high, high above me. She's so lovely. Okay. Like Cleopatra or Aphrodite. All right, that's how it goes. I have chills. So I know that's from spirit. This person thinks that you are kind of out of their league, okay? So check out that song. If you know that song, check out the lyrics. That's how this person is feeling about you. Wow, they think you're fancy. 
there's a girl here with like okay this is how they view you they view you as like down to earth but also fancy at the same time this this is a girl that she's got like combat boots on and then she's got also got like one of those fancy umbrellas you know so you, they feel like you're a mix you're down to earth but you're fancy too wow do they ever think a lot about you they think that you are larger than life that's what i'm hearing they think you're larger than life because we got a giant here so that's what's coming across like I just heard too, you could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or you could just be a very hard worker and, and embody the traits of an earth sign. Um, but yeah, this person, they, they think you're larger than life. They think you're awesome. This person wants to, <laughs> how can I say this? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of a appropriate way to say this. If this was my Patreon, I would just say whatever came to my mind, but um, this person wants to surprise you in a public place. This, this is what they're thinking about, surprising you in a public place. They want to kind of like, they're thinking of you if you're female as a damsel in distress. They want to come and rescue you. This could be a friend. I'm hearing for some of you, this could be like a friend that wants to be more, um, they could have dark hair. They could have medium length hair. Especially if it's a it's if it's a guy, they could have like medium length hair, dark hair that's medium length, medium to long in length. All right, that's just for some of you out there. That's not for everybody. They're very intellectual. They like art. They're very. They could be artists. They could even see you as artistic. Um. They feel like you're literally so perfect that you look like a statue or like a work of art. Like if somebody painted the most beautiful person, they would paint you. That's how this person feels like they have you on a total pedestal because we've got the painting here, the girl in a painting. She's like coming to life. She's actually in a painting coming to life. You see that? And then here it's like there's all these. Um, okay, here there's like statues and she's like coming to life. So it's like this person like thinks that you're perfection, pure perfection, okay? That's what they're thinking about you. Two wanted to come out, I guess. Judgment and the mirror. You guys are a lot alike. You and this person are a lot alike. You have a lot in common. I just heard you could both be teachers or you could both be in the same profession. Judgment. Judgment is here because, like, they don't want you to judge them too harshly if you were to find out that they like you in this way, that they're thinking about you that much. They just don't want to be judged. They don't want you to know because they, I guess they want it to kind of be a secret in a way <laughs> for some reason. But you might already know. And they might have told you or given you hints that they like you. But for some of them, they'd rather keep it a secret, at least for now. But they're thinking about like, you know, they're thinking about telling you their feelings. We got the water here, so water. They're thinking about telling you their their emotions and how they're feeling. They feel like you're a good listener, especially if you're friends. They might come to you with advice and they feel like you're a really good person. You're in touch with your emotions. Some of you could be into like raising horses or working with horses. Um, maybe you're good with animals. They see you as a gentle spirit, somebody who's very nurturing and very caring. And this is part of why they like you. They like your body too, but they don't just like your body. They like you for who you are. They have very intense emotions though. Very, very intense. Their intensity. Okay. I think pile two had that card too. Their, their emotions are extremely intense. They could be a water sign. But they, they, sh they are acting kind of like this with their intensity. But a, a water sign would be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. But anyway, this person is acting like that. They're very, very intense. Intense attraction for you. We got more water here. All right. So what this tells me is that um, 
this person is very in touch with their emotions here with all the water and they're very expressive when they want to be that's what spirit just said they're very expressive when they want to be they're kind of naughty they're kind of naughty they're having all kinds of naughty thoughts about you um like you know role play and all this fantasy stuff and what they would do to you um yeah it's a secret though moon is on the bottom of the deck the moon was on the bottom of the deck i feel like it's a secret they don't want you to know um like they they would be they would blush if you knew what they were thinking that's what i just heard spirit said they would totally blush if you knew what they were thinking <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so Spirit, what else can you tell me about this person and their naughty confession for you? You have pretty feet. They think you have very pretty feet. You're charismatic so they do they like your personality they don't just like your looks they love your personality because they think you're charismatic you come across as a dark beauty you come across as somebody deep and mysterious and you might dress in dark colors they love that about you this person admires your strength they feel like you're very strong and you look younger than your actual age and this person digs that they think that you look really nice if you're a female you could be very feminine or if you're a male you're in your feminine and this person finds you to be very alluring because of it they might have seen you go through a transformation maybe you've lost some weight pat yourself on the back for that if you're trying to lose weight it's showing it's definitely showing because they're noticing they're noticing your transformation so if you're trying to lose weight or you're dieting or like trying to imp improve your fitness or even if you're somebody who's just trying to change the shape of your body it's working this person is noticing. I have chills, so let that be a confirmation. You give great advice. So yeah, I do think this is a friend that has actually come to you for advice in the past. Um, you know, they, they've come to you in the past and it's like, oh, <laughs> it's a surprise for some of you. You might be like, because that's what I was almost like speechless for a moment there, if you noticed. <laughs> So I do feel like this person could, you could be speechless to find out this person is having these feelings for you. You make things pretty. Everything you do, you make things pretty with whatever you touch. And this, this person admires that. If they've been to your home, they have seen your home is beautiful. And that everything, the way you've decorated, it's just beautiful. You're very talented in the arts. This person thinks that you're very artistic. They admire that about you. You don't like drama and they appreciate that. They think that's cool that you don't get wrapped up in drama. They think you shine. They think you're very blessed with divine light. You just shine. You're adventurous. You definitely captivated this person's attention. You see talent and potential in others and you're an encourager. You're like a cheerleader, cheerleader to other people and they see you ascending. They see you growing as a person and they really admire you. They might not have liked you in this way in the beginning, but they've definitely grown to have quite a love and attachment for you and quite an obsession. You always stand up for what's right and this person admires that about you. But they may think that you're, you play hard to get or that you wouldn't like them. You inspire others and you inspire this person. They think you're an exemplary person, somebody to live up, live up to your example. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, channel spirit. Um, if you're enjoying this, please subscribe. I would love to have you be part of my YouTube family. If you hear some pauses while I am channeling it's because i am talking to spirit and it's a conversation i'm having with spirit and just like with any conversation there's pauses sometimes all right i also just wanted to say if you were drawn to any of the other piles feel free to watch any of the other piles because sometimes that happens where you're drawn to more than one and you can't choose you know if that happens just choose choose another pile all right spirit what is it that you really want us to know about this person that is kind of having naughty thoughts about 
um, pile three, what are their naughty thoughts? What can you share with us about their naughty thoughts or any other things? Okay. Okay. Um, well, this somebody's got to hear this, and this is not going to apply for everybody, so please don't click off if this doesn't apply to everybody. But this, for some of you, you know who this is because they drive a black vehicle, okay, like a black car or something, and Spirit wanted to bring that through. All right. That's, what's, that's what Spirit wanted to bring through because I was seeing, like, this shiny black vehicle in my mind. And I don't like to get too specific, but sometimes I will if I feel like I need to deliver a message like that from spirit. So it's going to apply to somebody. Um, if this is resonating with you, definitely leave a comment. I will always reply. Spirit, what else can you tell us about the person that is crushing over, uh, crushing on uh, pile three and their secret naughty thoughts? They feel blessed to know you. This person feels very blessed to know you. They want to get closer. They feel too far away from you, like they don't see you enough. They wish they could see you more often. For some of them, they don't even like live nearby. Or they wish they lived closer to you. They wish they could visit you more often. Yeah, for some of you, like, this person doesn't live in the same town as you. They just wish they could spend more time together. They wish they could even FaceTime you more often or something. They want to be able to do this, but they're just kind of chicken. <laughs> okay, they, they, they want to be able to come to you, okay, to tell you this, how they're feeling. that They've had a change in their, they've had the change since they first met you till now. They've evolved. Their feelings have evolved. They're in deep. Ooh, they're in deep in love with you. That's what Spirit just told me. They're in deep. They're in over their heads because you may or may not like them back. Okay, so this person could be in over their head. All right, I just heard like friend of the family. This could be a friend of the family for some of you, like, a, you know, somebody you know through your family. Um, for others of you, it's definitely somebody you met in the workplace or through some kind of community um, event or something. What else, Spirit? They like sports. They're very physical. They could like to wear hats, like a baseball cap or something if it's a male. They might like to wear a baseball cap. They're very brave. And for some of them, they could have even, now this is not going to apply to everybody, but Spirit needs me to share this. For some of them, they could have... Um, um, fought or been in the military okay they could have been in the military or that even could be you but spirits bringing that through and there is something very attractive about this person you know they have an attractive personality for sure and they have a great laugh and they have a great sense of humor and they have a great outlook on life All right, and I think that's all Spirit wants me to bring through. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I love you all so much. Um, don't forget, check out my Patreon. Head on over there. Um, join my Patreon if you'd like more 18 plus uncensored readings where I'm going to be able to be as free as I want to be to say what I want to say. It's only $3 a month to join, and you will get access to just starting out um, – one reading a week um, so um, about four uh, readings a month so and they will be quite lengthy so that'll be for your enjoyment so if you're interested in that 
check that out. I will be continuing to make YouTube 18 plus videos, but they've cracked down on what you can say, so that's why I'm doing this. I want to be able to be more free with what I'm saying. Um, also, if you need a personal reading, please be sure to check out my description box below for information on, on how you can obtain a personal reading with me. If you'd like to be entered in my drawing for a free personal reading, go to my community tab and find the um, picture, the photograph of the woman with the candle and uh, make sure you're a subscriber and then leave a comment and say, uh, Mystic Rose, I would like to be entered in the free, in the drawing and one lucky winner will be drawn on February 6th. If you'd like to donate to my channel, it's never expected, but it's always appreciated, and you can find the information for that in my, do in my description box below. And I think that covers about everything. Anyways, stay beautiful, Pile 3. I love you all so very much, and definitely be sure to come back and check out my other videos. Bye!